We've got Barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing right here. Doing all right. Week three, college football here. Um, maybe not as good as week two, but hey, it's another week of college football, right? Nah, let's just let's call a spade a spade. The lineup's pretty weak this week. Is this is it's it's just it is what it is. Let's not yeah. let's not sugarcoat it. Let's not lie to the people. Um, it's, it's better than no college football, though. Bingo. All right, let's let's jump into our my conspiracy picks. theory. Kyle is <laughs> that they give us all of the crappy games at the front of the year because they know that we're so starved for football that we will just sit there and watch Penn State play Illinois. Speaking of which, Penn State going to Illinois. <laughs> uh Penn, Penn State favored by 14 and a half points. Kyle, who do you have? Uh I don't trust this Illinois team, uh, especially <laughs> especially after their uh barely beating out the Rockets of Toledo and then a poor showing against Kansas uh last week. And then they're going into a top, or they're playing a top 10 opponent in Penn State here. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the Nittany Lions to cover. I think Penn State wins. I, I think Illinois covers. Not by a lot. Um, But I think Illinois covers. I think it's probably like, I'm going to say it's like a 13 point game. 13, 14 oh. point game. Um, I, I like Penn state. I don't love Penn state. Um, Illinois defense is not good. I know they're not good. They're, and they're Penn state's almost, they're letting up almost 500 yards of defense a game. And that, and that's, and that's how much Penn state, uh, puts up per game, 510 net yards of offense per game. I know it's almost like, it's almost like Vegas wants you to pick Penn state or something, huh? I know, right? And that's that's who I'm picking. Uh, huh. That's what you call it. Um, that game's on Fox. That one is Kyle. your that one is your your Fox special on Spikes at noon. Spikes knows what's up. Yeah. Also at noon on ESPN. Uh, for those that uh, do not have Spectrum, uh, <laughs> you can no, watch. They're, um, they're, can... they're good now. Oh, they are. Okay. Uh, LSU and Mississippi State noon ESPN. And the Tigers are a nine and a half point favorite. Who do you have, Jared? Uh, I am going to go. Uh, I think I'm going to go Missouri. Wait a minute. Missouri. What the hell is in the. Why? Why is the. That's not. Why why are the show notes different than my notes down here? Kyle, what did you just tell me to pick? <laughs> LSU and Mississippi State. What yeah, that's what I have. At? I don't know. What why is my my screenshots and my notes are bad? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We move forward. Am I gonna cut any of that out? No, I'm not. I don't know why I put the wrong thing in the show notes. There yeah. Go, I'm I'm just, I'm just, I'm just look there. Just look there. I'll 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 get you covered here, Jared. <laughs> Jared, I'll stop you thinking. I'll keep you afloat. Jared, stop thinking. Start talking. <laughs> what uh, do you got here? Tigers are a nine and a half point favorite here. Tigers versus Bulldogs, only in the SEC. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Mississippi State, not to win, but to cover. Um, I do not like this LSU team. I called them overhyped from the beginning. Um. I do think I do think they end up winning this game. Don't get me wrong. I don't think Mississippi State's all that great either. I think nine points is. I feel a lot better if it were ten. If I'm being honest, but it does. This does feel like a touchdown, maybe eight point game. I, mean, I do wish this, it was this, ten and a half, though. I do really wish it was ten and a half. I mean, th this team lives and dies by. By, uh, by their quarterback, uh, Jaden Daniels. Depending on how well he does, depend is going to be the outcome of this game here. Uh, 
I just, I've just never been a big fan of him. He's been very inconsistent. He sometimes he has great games, and other times not so good games here. Uh, and because of that, I just, I, I'll take Mississippi State to cover LSU. Definitely the better team here, but you're on the road. You're, you're playing at uh, Starkville, Mississippi here. Yeah, I'm going to pick the Bulldogs as well to cover. All right, the third game here, we have a 3.30 kickoff. Uh, we have your Jer- Jared, your Golden Gophers of not Minnesota. My golden, not, not my Golden, go- golden Gophers. <laughs> your Golden Gophers. Not my heading, Golden Gophers. Heading on over to Chapel Hill. Your Tar Heels. Terrible colors. Uh, <laughs> your North Carolina Research Triangle having North Carolina Tar Heels. Too much blue here. Uh, Yes, Minnesota and North Carolina. North Carolina coming off an overtime victory over the Mountaineers of Appalachian State. And UNC is a seven and a half point favorite in this game. I... (laughs) UNC has a good offense. UNC definitely has a good offense. But they also have a pretty bad defense as well. <laughs> yeah. So I I think this is going to be a close game. I'm going to come right down to the wire. So if you're if you're giving me seven and a half points, yeah, I'll I'll take I'll take Jared's golden go- gophers here. Not my golden gophers. Uh I, I'm gonna take Minnesota as well. I think Minnesota I, I, seven and a half is way, way too big of a number. I think Minnesota has a very, very good chance of winning this football game. Um, that's just not, just not even a gopher. That's a beaver. I think. I don't know. The <laughs> also, maybe I'm wrong. That's a chipmunk. That is a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gopher uh yeah uh, <laughs> minnesota 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 too big of a number way too big of a number uh that's a groundhog the <laughs> i why do i why do i why do i know my ground burrowing mammals so well um yeah minnesota minnesota spikes do do you keep deleting your gifts or are they just deleting why why does that keep happening Okay, you keep deleting them. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't like a technical issue. All right. All right, moving on to our night games here. Triple header Jared has here. Um, Probably because the 330 games are lackluster, I'm going to assume. I'm not going to look it up. I'm just going to assume it is. Uh, so yeah, Just when o'clock. I'm picking the games, I pick, pick typical. Well, this is just how I do it. I pick, typically we'll try to pick two afternoon games games two or you know two noon games two afternoon games and two evening games and then i just have a third spot open to pick whatever the like, best remaining like, game is but it's not like we're going to be watching any of these uh 330 game any of the 330 games because Ohio state's playing at four o'clock right and and we are also picking ohio state um, in these salute picks, but you have to listen to our previous episode, Know Your Enemy, to hear our prediction on that. But that is one of our seven picks. All right. With that being said, Tennessee and Florida is our next pick here, seven o'clock. Uh, this is usually, is it, this isn't this game usually a neutral field? Isn't Jacksonville. It? Right. Uh, Oh no, it is. It is. It's in Gainesville. Okay. Or is that it, Georgia it is a... and Florida? Yeah, that that might be Georgia and Florida. Actually, yeah. No, you're right. Uh, where's Where's Austin so when we need him? So it's 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 in Florida here. It's at Florida University here. Uh, Tennessee is a seven and a half. Spikes point confirms favorite. that it's Georgia that's played in Jacksonville. Florida and Georgia okay. and Jacksonville. Uh, so. Tennessee is seven and a half a point favorite in this game here, Jared. What say you? Do you think do you think the uh 
the Gators can cover or even pull up the upset in this game? Upsets on the table. Um, seven and a half points is more than enough to entice me. Uh, is Florida good? No, but neither is Tennessee. Like, seriously. I, I've, I've been... Every year, I feel like I pick a couple teams that are like in the top 10, top 15 and go, why? Why are they there? Um, and one of my teams this year has definitely been Tennessee. Just to be like, who who put them there and why? Uh, and I have seen nothing so far this year to uh, dissuade me from that opinion. I'm sticking to that opinion. I'm still looking at Tennessee's ranking and screaming why. Uh, so, yeah, give me Florida to at least cover. Yeah, I, I agree. I just, I'm not a big fan of Joe Milton. I know, kind, kind of similar no. to, uh, <laughs> kind of similar to when we were talking about, when I talked about uh, Daniels, can have some great games. And he could have some not so great games, and I just too inconsistent. And I just, yeah, I I wouldn't trust I wouldn't trust uh, Milton with the ball in his hand to to win it to win a game here. So I'll I'll take Florida to cover. I mean, seven and a half points that's a touchdown. Sure, sure, I'll take the Gators here. Is Penn State Illinois our only difference so far? Uh it is. It is so far. All right, uh, seven thirty is our next pick here uh, on the Big Ten on NBC. Syracuse and Purdue. Syracuse is a two and a half point favorite. In my opinion, Purdue. Oh, sorry. In my opinion, this is a pick. Um, give me Purdue just because they're giving me two and a half points. Straight up picking the underdog because I think it's a pick'em game. I agree. And and what's one of our rules, Jared? What is one of our rules? When in doubt, pick the underdog. Nope. Well, that too. When in but... doubt, pick the quarterback. Nope. Not that one. I was about to Try say again. I not not that one either. Um, Try again. Yeah, but no, that that's that would be that be that be rule number four. Uh, rule number oh, four. Yeah, never. Never play a night game in the Big Ten West. Never travel to the Big Ten West for a night game, I think, is the actual rule. Don't play Appy, Bison, Army, Navy, or night games in the Big West. Yeah. Yeah. A list of teams to never play. Uh, Purdue at night is one of them. <laughs> right, yeah, I got, I got Purdue as well. All right, and the last game here is, is this really the, the game of the week? This is this is the Herbie special. Uh, I don't. I, I've honestly stopped paying attention to what game day does. I don't know. Um, I'm an adult and I need to get chores done before noon. I I I, I don't. And it's just it's turned into a clown show. Um, so I I I, I don't care about game day anymore. Um, I, I don't I don't either. But I'm I'm just surprised to see. See, it's this game on ABC at 7.30, Pittsburgh and West Virginia. I think they're trying to cash in on the, you know, dead rivalry, the backyard brawl and all that. Um, I mean, this is a marquee rivalry, uh, even if the teams are not marquee. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, 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 a, it's an old... It's an old Big East rivalry that has uh, unfortunately died. Um, although when both of these teams end up in the Big 12 at some point, uh, I mean, West Virginia already is, of course, and Pitt will end up probably there at some point too. Um, whatever. I don't know. By, by the come on. That'll be fun though, right? The Big 12, Pittsburgh and Cincinnati and West Virginia. That's a good that's a good three-way rival right there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the hell I'm saying about the actual football game, if I'm being super honest. Um, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. I like them more mostly because I don't like West Virginia. Um, 
Vegas giving West Virginia one and one half points isn't going to scare me off of my opinion that Pittsburgh's a better team. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, from what I've seen so far here, yeah, I'll I'll take Pittsburgh in this one. I I think they just have the better defense, and yeah, I I don't know what's gotten over me, Jared. I've always been a uh, a doubter for Pittsburgh, and here I am. We've this is our second game talking about Pittsburgh here, and I'm I'm picking Pittsburgh for a second straight time here. I don't know what's wrong Why? with me. Now, the real question is, what's wrong with me that I've now included Pittsburgh two weeks in a row in the sloop picks? I think is the <laughs> I think real that says question. A lot about, I, think that, I think that says a lot about the games so far this year. Yeah. Things will be a lot better when uh, only the Big Ten and the SEC exist and they only play each other, which is going to happen. Yeah, yeah right? It's going to happen. I tell you what, next week, though, Jared, Got a lot of good games. Lots, lots of good games in week four. All right, well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What do we got in week four? I guess right. what Kyle's trying to say is, is that if you need to do some family stuff, if you need to make a trip to Lowe's, um, maybe build do that it. thing you've been meaning to build or dig that hole you've been meaning to dig. Um, and you, you have to like maybe choose, maybe choose this this weekend and not next weekend. If your friends are getting married next week, call them and say, hey, can you move it up a week? Um, I think is what Kyle's trying. Try, Kyle's, try, Kyle's looking out for everyone's uh, football, real life balance right now. Yeah. All right. Week four, Jared. Now, just, just listen through these here, okay? You got rank on rank. You got rank on rank UCLA and Utah. Okay. You okay. Got rank on you got rank on rank Oregon State and Washington State. You have um Florida State and Clemson. That should be a good game. Yeah. Uh Colorado and Oregon. This is when we'll finally figure out. By the way, out. I think Florida State's just gonna wipe them off the was gonna wipe Clemson off the face of the earth. I hope so too. I'm not hoping so, I'm saying so. Colorado and Oregon. Find out who Colorado is in this week. Again, week four. Ole, Ole Miss and Alabama. That, that, that would be a good, that would be a good game too. Uh, I, mm, mm. Baylor. If if Ole Miss and Alabama is a good game, that says a lot about. I've been calling Bama talent deficient all week. Um. But as I as I like to point out every time I call, as I, as every time I call, I it's they're talent deficient by Bama standards. Ole Miss is still Ole Miss. Uh, where where was I here? You just uh, got done talking about Bama and Ole Miss. This could be a a sleeper here, uh, Texas and Baylor. I think ba- Baylor. I think we'll surprise some teams here. Uh, they 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 nearly pull up the upset against Utah. Right, but what did uh, they right, do right. the week before that? Um, I am going to assume yeah they 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 yeah they lost uh, <laughs> two. Uh, Texas State. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it could could be a good game, and then obviously you got Ohio State Notre Dame. Iowa and Penn State could potentially be a good that's one a, as that's well. A good game. I think another good game could be uh, UNC and Pittsburgh. That, that could be a good one too. I think every single game you mentioned, and I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. I think every single game you mentioned is better than every single game uh, that we have available to us this week. Like. One hundred percent of the games in the you current, mentioned in the current rankings, right for this week, there are six rank on rank matchups in week four. How many rank on ranks do we have this week? None. I already knew the answer to that one. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even have to look that up. Zero. Zero rank on rank matchups this week. Oh. I'm surprised. It's not a, it's game, not a, Jared. 
You, you didn't you didn't want to do Northwestern and Duke as a pick'em? What time is that game? Three thirty. Right. So, uh, I had so Ohio State Western Kentucky is locked in. I'm just th- th- this mm-hmm. is my uh, Minnesota UNC better game. Um, and then I mean realistically, maybe I could have done that one instead of like Syracuse Pittsburgh or I mean Syracuse Purdue. I probably mm-hmm. y- you could have made that argument. You could have made that argument that I could have done three in the afternoon slot. Um, All right, that that is it. Uh, that is our slick picks here. Uh, any any last any last things to say here before we wrap it up? Um, do we have any ask Sloopcast questions we can snag? Anything along those lines? Um, no. Just just like the number of uh good games to watch this weekend. No, no one's excited for this week is what you're telling me. Yes. Yes. You're, you're telling me no one gives a shit about college football three weeks in. That That's where we're at right now? Or is it just that this week is that damn bad? Yeah. Which by in history of college football, that means we're going to get some upsets this weekend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's always the weeks you aren't expecting. Uh, but by the way, though, there's actual mathematics behind that. When no rank on ranks are playing each other. It just increases the possibility for a ranked team to lose to a not ranked team. Mm-hmm. More opportunity. Thank you, Spikes. That's the intelligent way of saying that. All right, Kyle. Um, want to encourage everyone to come join the Discord server. We will make this week interesting by betting Sloop Coins. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I gave a long talk at the end of last episode about that, and I don't feel like doing it again. Um, but yeah, they're just coins you earn by talking in the server, um, and then you can quote unquote gamble them and I say quote unquote because the coins aren't actually worth anything uh, but there's a lot of bragging rights and a lot of chatter in the server about the uh, coins so it feels important it feels it's important to us damn it it's real to me um, Kyle do you have anything in Kyle's corner I was looking at just some just some things here and see if there's anything just to bring up here and not really. <laughs> not really. Um I could talk about talk about some former Ohio State players that, that looked pretty well in the NFL this weekend. Uh Garrett Wilson made a a catch of the year uh candidate already in week one. That was a hell of a catch by by Wilson there. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore played very, very well in the opener as well. And, and CJ Stroud, his first pass completion, Jared was to himself. Yeah. He hit the over on his yardage though, which is a thing we bet on in the discord server with sloop coins. Yeah. Over under CJ Stroud, total passing yards in his NFL debut. He hit that over. Mm Mm-hmm. And Chris Olave had himself a really good game too. I think he had he had over a hundred yards in his in his uh in his uh pro di- pro career uh opener. Uh not his second year player. Oh, you're right, yes. <laughs> you're right, yes. Wake up, Kyle. Wake up. I know. Uh yeah. All right, that's it. Uh, I think that would be the end of the episode. Uh, unless you want to talk about Mel Tucker, you want to spend the next fifteen minutes talking about Mel Tucker. Kyle, Kyle is shaking his head no for the audio only listeners. No, you don't want to talk about Mel Tucker. Uh no, it's just disturbing, and we should just leave it at that. We're just not you. Okay. 
Uh, tonight's ending music will be brought to you by the Friday Giants. Uh, the Friday Giants are a pop punk band, I believe, out of the Cincinnati area. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are the Friday Giants. <laughs>